Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Norman Reed, and today I have my long-awaited Fall Essentials video. Um, I know I should have posted this video maybe two to three weeks ago. However, life has been lifing, and now I can dedicate more time to posting content and filming this particular video. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time seeing me, I post fashion-related content across all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and this particular medium of YouTube. Um, if you enjoy this content, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoy some of these essentials or what were your essentials, and I'll reply back to you in the in after this particular video is over. Um, with all those pleasantries out the way, let's dive into a couple categories I wanted to talk about uh, as my essentials. I'm gonna talk about accessories, I'm gonna talk about shoes, pants, um, shirts, and outerwear. I'm not gonna really talk about hats because one, all the hats, like my fitted hats and like my um, knit hats, I haven't really like dove into wearing them. One, because I need to buy another fitted hat that's large enough, like a size eight. I usually put like a size seven, seven and a half and something like that. And I can't really wear that with my locks now. Um, so I need to get a bigger size, that's one. And two knitted hats, kind of like the same reason, like it's not that they're too small, it's just like I have locks now and like sometimes it causes my hair to be frizzy slash some of the lint from those knitted hats are left within my lock and now I have to like painstakingly just go through and like take out the lint. It's just like I need to find better alternatives to hat wear. But for right now I'm just rocking the natural lock look. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk about my first essential category and that will be shoes. As a New Yorker, Bronx, I wanna say native cause I wasn't born in the Bronx, but as a Bronx individual who grew up in the Bronx for the majority of their lives, I have a very large aptitude or like I have a very large affinity towards sneakers. Affin sneakers are, uh, I guess like a, a passion of mine. I really collect sneakers. I like wearing sneakers. I like seeing different sneaker designs, like what people, like different artists can put onto a particular model, yada, yada, yada. So I love sneakers, right? Um, that's something I noticed within myself for like from this particular season and seasons prior. And one particular, or I have like maybe three to four pairs of shoes that like really stood out to me within this particular um, fall season. First things first, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna talk about this particular shoe. Um, the Jordan 1 Silhouette, uh, not just like this particular um, black and gold um, Jordan 1, just like the whole Silhouette in entirely. Um, but I did pick these, um, these Jordan 1s up from 2nd Street. I picked them up for like 100 bucks. Um, I got them when I went to Philadelphia this past, maybe like a couple months ago. Anyways, besides the story, Jordan 1s were definitely in my rotation of sneakers for this season. Specifically with this particular pair, it's patent leather, so like when I wore it in, wore, when I wore it in the rain, um, the material didn't get messed up. Um, it's sleek, it's shiny, it, it's like a statement piece. It's not too flashy but like if you know you know type of thing i remember i wore these for thanksgiving my first time wearing them out since i got them after like cleaning them up whatever i wore them for thanksgiving and like my cousins were like oh these are whose shoes are these like oh i was like they were mine i'm like oh they're really nice it was like like not a lot of people have this particular model or just like this particular colorway and like i wore it in a certain way that made it like it was my statement piece within my outfit i can show up a picture like right here but yeah, the Jordan 1, this particular shoe, this whole silhouette in, to in totality um, is definitely my, I guess, like top four, top five is shoe essentials for this fall season. I guess the next essential I will have to talk about will be, will have to be the Adidas Sambas. Um, this particular shoe was on my radar for a, a good chunk of time. I picked this shoe up from Depop because this particular colorway um was sold out on adidas and like pretty much Foot Locker. basically all sneaker outlets was just sold out and i was just like why was that the reason but i found them for a good price i got them a little bit under retail it was like retail was like maybe like 90 to 100 bucks i think i spent like 80 bucks for these so i was, I was like that was a good steal um that's enough rambling on that how i got them but like this particular model or this shoe i really enjoy um yeah this like not even like just the colorway but like this silhouette in totality is just very sleek very minimalistic and i really enjoy how like it adds like a little bit of flair in your outfit um i should make a review on these but 
depending on how much time or just like if I have these in rotation a little bit more I'll probably make a video but anyways I've seen a lot of people rock the Sambas um, this has been like a trend for this particular year and I kind of bought into the trend and I would say I have no regrets with doing that so yeah this is my second sneaker of this particular season and it's definitely one of my essentials so I was going to talk to you about this particular shoe, the Tom Sachs. Um, they're a brown pair of shoes, but I was I noticed to myself I just noticed to myself that I haven't worn these that much within the season. But these were definitely bought in anticipation for the fall. The reason why because like they're earth tone shoe, they're a rugged shoe as well. Um, so like you can put a lot of beating on the shoe and it's not gonna really like wear out on you. So it's like these shoes are built to last. You can wear them in the rain any type of like weather condition and they're still gonna look good and like the more they wear the more that you wear them the more beat up that they are the better that they look they remind me of like jordan ones because that's the same notion with them as well um for example like a pair of like shadow ones the more that you wear them the more beat up that they look the more character more uh, more of a vibe that they give off and this particular shoe holds the same sentiment but i'm gonna replace this particular sneaker for another one that i did wear a lot a lot this season um it is a pair of New Balances. If you've been on my channel for a while, you probably already you know, you know what these are. Um, these are the New Balance 337s. This particular shoe definitely was in my rotation a lot this fall season. Um, it's black and white, but any other model like would definitely complement your outfits for sure. So this is my subtle flex shoe. Uh, I add this on to like if I were in like a suit and tie or like some leather jackets and stuff like that. Like yeah i can't really go wrong with putting this shoe on because one it goes with everything and you also need a shoe that you can also just like slip on and just go out and just run your errands or just like do anything with so and this is definitely gonna round out my top three um sneakers for this particular fall season um i guess like a quick honorable honorable mention for um footwear that are that is my essential or that is one of my essentials i should say is definitely some classy shoes um first things first this particular boot i picked these up when i went to philadelphia again i got them for like 30 bucks um a calm little heel at the back so instead of me being like five foot nine i'm like five foot eleven five ten with these on cool a little bit extra boost again black shoe um can't go wrong it definitely adds a little flair to your outfit so like if you want to look a little bit more preppy a little bit more business casual slash like more like serious will make your outfits a little bit more serious a leather boot a black leather boot you can never go wrong with and lastly the la lastly rounding out um my footwear for this particular season will be some i haven't worn this in a while so it's a little bit dusty so don't don't go in the comments can while and anyways so like this particular shoe i picked these up from the thrift um, when i was in brooklyn for 15 dollars and yeah, it's just like a maroon slash black type shoe. Um, yeah, you always need a pair of dress shoes. For me personally, like, I need a pair of dress shoes to just, like, snazz up your outfit and just make your outfit a little bit more unique, a little bit more timeless, a little bit more, like, classy type of vibe. And this shoe definitely gets the job done. Um, I should definitely have this shoe in rotation a little bit more. But it's also, like... I need places to go be doing I need I need places or events to go to to look that dressed up because I like I'm located the type to wear dressy like fashionable stuff and like non really fashionable environments so that makes sense so yeah this is rounds out my sneakers or shoes for this fall season the next essentials I want to talk about is definitely outerwear it's kind of unusual going from shoes to outerwear but it is my channel and this is what I'm going to be doing. Anyways, I want to talk about outerwear. So a couple pieces that I had in mind to show you all um, are it's going to be flannel slash like button up um, jackets and just love the jackets. So first things first, I'm talking about some a brown, cream and gray flannel. Again, it matches the vibes of the fall season or earth tones. Um, very minimalistic um very neutral colors so like it definitely spits the vibes of the season so this flannel or any flannel that you could probably pick up from like any thrift is going to be 
uh, vibe when you put like try it on and like make it alpha with it. Um, I guess the theme continues on with this particular flannel. It is like a burgundy, gray, and white flannel. Same thing, very monotone colors, nothing too crazy, and very, again, timeless and classic. Um, this is a statement piece of mine. It is a jacket I picked up a couple years back. Still, it still does its job. It definitely makes me stand out and definitely um, is a piece that's in my wardrobe that's very unique and not a lot of people know or have seen this particular jacket so like every time i wear it people just like kind of stare at me i'm just like i knew you were going to stare at me but like you're staying at me for a little bit too long that's the type of vibe i get when i wear this particular jacket so yeah it's just something from urban outfitters i'm not sure what they sell it anymore but the brand if you're interested is called bdg on urban outfitters and i got this as a size medium and it definitely fits my person or fits my proportions very well. I'm like 5'9", five 5'10", five um, somewhat stocky shoulders, um, somewhat built, and this definitely fits me um, seamlessly and very like, it ver it's a very slim fit, very snug fit for sure. Um, next up, I'm gonna talk about my leather jackets. Let's talk about my slim leather jacket first. Pick this, this brand is from, or this jacket is from Zara. Pick this up, I picked this jacket up a while back too, maybe maybe one or two years ago. Um, this is like one of my go-to jackets, nothing too crazy. Uh, I think it's a like synthetic leather. Uh, yeah, very slim. I can definitely wear it with a lot of stuff. It's all black, one. The reason why this is in my essentials list is because it's black. It adds a little variability with my outfits, makes me look a little bit more um, stylish, a little bit more like presentable. Not presentable, but like more higher, like more classy. That, that's the type of vibe when I wear um, leather or just like this jacket in general. So yeah, this is something you can pick up from Zara. I would recommend just going throughout the clearance section and just like finding like a statement piece. That's like the pivotal things within my essentials. Like statement pieces are very, very pivotal within fashion. So this is another statement piece of mine. And I guess like the upgraded version of this statement piece is my big, um, uh, hefty, um, like leather, like black jacket. I'm not particularly, sh I, well, I got this jacket from my dad, so like a hand-me-down type of thing, but um, I, very, I was very apprehensive about this jacket until, like I tried it on, it's like very, it's very warm, it's heft, like it's really like, it's like oh, I'm wearing a blanket when I wear this jacket, so like I, I can wear like a regular shirt or just a regular button down with this jacket and I'm, I'm good. It's like a, it's like a puffer I'm wearing but in a leather jacket form. So like this is something I really enjoy. So like I can have a very minimalistic um, outfit underneath the jacket and I just have it on top so it can add a little bit more a flair and I'll stay warm on top of wearing something so like minimalistic. So yeah, this is the jacket. Um, I have this on my Instagram. I posted a couple of photos with it. Um, this will definitely be in my rotation for winter, best believe because you can't really you can't really find jackets like these anymore. And if you do find them for um and if you do find these particular jackets, you're spending a pretty penny. So, but it's not impossible to find these things. So I would definitely say like, go to your local Goodwill, go to your local like um, Second Street, um, go to your local like a Ross type of vibe and like, just search. Like take like 30 minutes just to like search. Don't get discouraged and you'll definitely find what you're looking for. And this item is definitely gonna be in my wardrobe for many, many years to come. So that's just my outerwear section of this video. Um, next category I'll be tackling would definitely have to be pants and stay tuned for that. I have a new fit on, it's a new day because I didn't have enough time to finish it from my original shooting time, but we're here now. Anywho, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is pants. I have a couple pants that I want to talk to you about, specifically just two pairs. Um, so this first pair is just a pair of corduroy pants. Hopefully you can see the texture on the pants right here. Um, I reason why these are one of my essential pants for the season is because it keeps me warm and it adds like a little extra style, like versatility with your outfits. Um, not a lot of people wear corduroy, so this is pretty ideal. And it kind of like, it's like a khaki type of corduroy. Oh, well the, the pants cut is like a khaki, like slacks. But with the, cordu with the corduroy hit of it on the, I was like the material it definitely like stands out the material feels nice on my body and it definitely adds more texture to my outfits 
um and i guess another pair of pants that kind of like goes away from um the fall vibe but it's a pair of like lavender bubblegum type of pants like per like a light purple um the reason why these are one of my essentials is because as i previously mentioned statement pieces are very important to me so and this is like one of my statement pieces that i build a lot of my outfits around so this is another essential for myself if you want to have like a stand out like if you want to stand out a little bit um in this like fall gloomyish type of season so yeah this is one of my another essentials next thing i want to talk to you about is sweaters um specifically crew necks and hoodies um so this is a crew neck that has been in my rotation a lot this fall season um, it is like a red and blue it's, it's multicolored and i really enjoy how this looks um on my body and for the most part not a lot of people um wear these multicolored um sweaters in in my opinion um i haven't seen a lot of people maybe like one of my other friends who actually made her own sweater um my friend alex shout out to alex um but yeah this is something that's been in my rotation for a long period of time this season. Um, it keeps me warm. Um, I got this from a thrift, also with my friend Alex, for like maybe like four or five bucks. And this is definitely uh, a piece that's going to be in my rotation for many falls to come. Um, next up, I want to talk to you about just a green hoodie. Um, it doesn't matter what hoodie it is. It has text on the back. It has like a little lemonade man with like little lemonade kids on the chest. Um, but yeah, this is a nice piece that I picked up from, I think, uh, Zara for like maybe $15. Pretty good price for what I paid for. Um, it's a hoodie. It's like a normal traditional hoodie. But the reason I picked it up because it has like yellow. It has like pops of yellow and white on it. So like I can make it um, work with a multitude of different outfits. Such as like if I'm wearing like a like a black pant yellow shoe type of vibe or like if i were um black shoes like some khakis and like a black jacket so those are like some ways i style this particular um garment um but yeah a green sweater never you can never go wrong with but specifically in the fall um so this is another i guess like another statement piece that i layer and build around in my outfits um what else i want to talk about we talked about sweaters, we talked about pants, we talked about shoes, we talked about hats a little bit, and we also talked about jackets. Um, last thing I wanna talk about is my last essential will be some accessories. I'm gonna keep this portion of this video very quick because I don't really have that many accessories. Um, so this first accessory is my Black Supreme bag. Um, this bag has been with me since like, freshman sophomore year of high uh, not high school of college uh i picked this up for maybe like 90 bucks i know that's like, a, that's like for me when i buy things that's like a pretty steep price um for items however um it was like an investment for myself because i knew i wasn't going to sell it anytime soon and this has been like five 20 2018 from now is like four years that's 2020 plus three four seven. it's been like seven years since i had this bag coming close up on a decade in the next three years so this bag has been with me for a long period of time it's black um it goes with all my outfits so there's not a lot of like ambiguity or like there's not a lot of risk when wearing this it just adds like a little extra flair to my outfits and also it keeps my valuable such as like vaseline some cologne um some snacks you know like just just what what i need when i go outside you know um lastly i just want to talk about like some other accessories like jewelry and watches um so these um bracelets or like yeah these bracelets have been in my rotation for a long period of time i recently i found them um when i was searching through my sister's room she left them because she um moved out like a couple years ago and i found them i was like oh these are really nice and these just adds like like extra pop to my outfits um they fit like uh, yeah they fit on my wrist like nothing and like i like the the sound that it makes when i like, want to walk around or like when i shake people's hands and stuff like that and like when people look at my wrist right like, now like oh what is that and then i tell them like hey this is just some braces i found for my sister and yeah um these are really nice and i really enjoy how like um minimalistic they are um last two things i want to talk about is just uh my watch this is a fossil watch um, right here. Hopefully you can see that. It's just a fossil watch. Um, very inexpensive. Uh, I remember I had this from my high school prom and I still keep it with me to this day. Um, 
yeah just a nice black watch goes again with the same same notion with the supreme bag it's just a black watch that adds like an extra extra flair to your outfits uh, makes it a little bit more classy a little bit more timeless pun very much intended um so yeah this is just my fossil watch and then lastly just like some jewelry for my hands some rings or a ring is just this little hopefully you can see that just a silver ring um yeah nothing really too special with this one i remember i found this ring when i was just like walking you know just like randomly on the sidewalk i was like oh what is this a nice little silver ring um so i picked it up and it's been with me since i guess a couple years now um but yeah whenever i put it on it just adds like a little extra pop of just like mystery to my outfits in my opinion so that's the last essential for this fall season so we talked about all my essentials we talked about my shoes pants sweaters jackets we talked a little bit about hats we talked about accessories as well and these are all my essentials for this fall season um hopefully enjoy this video hopefully enjoy my essentials if i if you have your own essentials that's a little bit different from mine comment down below and i'll definitely respond back to you um as quick as possible um again this is Norman Reed, and I'm signing off. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell down below. Anyways, catch you guys on the next video.